Hello everyone and welcome to episode 39 of Skyrim. When we left off, I met Carlyle, and she saved me from uh, being killed by slowing my heart with an arrow that had a special potion on it or whatever. And uh, she found a book in Snowvale Sanctum that tells us um, some information about the Thieves Guild. So now I have to go to Winterhold and ask a man if uh, he knows how to translate the book. I'm sorry, could you describe the smell? Like some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. Ask them to move away because of the Empire. But we get to stay. Can I help you with anything else? I've been sent by Carlyle. Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Yes, but there's a problem. A problem? Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Can you translate it? No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning, Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. Yeah, I don't I didn't even enter Markarth yet, so this is going to be new. Whoa. Did a jewelry for your journey home? What the hell? Oh, this pendant would look lovely on my sister. The reach belongs to the fourth board. Damn. Hey! Don't Never should have come here. To the thorns. This dude's going fucking crazy. <gasps> I'd die for my people. By the divines, the Forsworn are here in the city. Everyone, stay back. The Markarth city guard have this all under control. There are no Forsworn here. We'll handle things from here. Move along. That man shouted something about the Forsworn. I said move along. The Forsworn are just a bunch of madmen. We have everything under control. Stay out of it. None of my business anyway. That's right. It isn't. All right then. <laughs> Took his shit. All right. We'll handle things. Move along. The hell? Someone's drinking outside. Isn't that illegal? Open alcohol. People are getting fucking crazy. This city looks like a freaking Dwemer ruin. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. I was looking for you, actually. I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. Why do you people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized Whoa, star on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. 
I'm in the middle of some very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? I hear you're the authority on ancient farmer. Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Former Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Perhaps I could view your work? Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. What will it cost to change your mind? I'm not certain how many scholars you're accustomed to dealing with, but I can assure you that personal wealth is our lowest priority. But I'm a great admirer of your work. While I appreciate the sentiment, I still have to decline. Being an admirer, I'm sure you can appreciate the need to keep my research a secret. Grant me access or you'll regret it. Do you realize that at a snap of my fingers, I can bring the entire Markarth city guard to my defense? You best rethink this course of action, or you may find yourself on the executioner's block. Forget it. Maybe I'll come back later. Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. I guess I just gotta sneak past these guards. How big is this place? Oh man. Shit. I shall save it, just in case.
the hell was the point of that? the hell Who's there? Fuck. I knew I heard something. Hell yeah. Oh, maybe I have to pull another valve. I already did that one. And then this one. So there must be one more. Where the hell is this other valve? I'm gonna have to try to lockpick this door. Longbow, what the hell? What the hell? Damn it. Shit, that gas hurts you. What now? Yeah. Stay there, Serana. Come on. 
Phew. You need some. <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. What the hell, man? Do I have to go back and hit it again, or what? Oh shit. Hell yeah. The hell is that? Oh, that's why the door was barred. Just the other side. Dude, there's lots of freaking paper all over the place. Oh shit. Sweet. Oh shit. Shit. Enough. Captain Aquilius.
Oh shit. the basement this is down in the oh shit back eh and how was our friend Caselmo this should help translate Gals's journal I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this so I simply won't a rubbing eh I expected notes. It's quite the tale. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Hmm. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the Guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Emther? Anything about the Nightingales? Mm, uh, yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I... I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Emtha. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Emtha. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. Thank you, Anthea. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden, and you find yourself in Witterhold, visit me at the college. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. If you have further need of me, you can find. We must me hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. Gals's journal mentioned the Twilight Sepulchre. You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Why does it require that type of protection? Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal, and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. Thieves and temples. It just doesn't add up. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. I'd understand better if less mystery was involved. As a Nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith. But I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Very well. We do it your way for now. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation. See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but 
Given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. I'll put it to good use. If the guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. I'm assuming you're here for All right. Well, I gotta pause it. Click the annotation in the top right to watch the next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.